Well, good morning, everyone. Wanted to show you all that goes inside of a coupler. So apparently, some of you guys have some concerns uh, and or are maybe a little misguided as to what actually goes inside of one of our new ITCC Ford couplers. Um, so we'll start real basic. Excuse the phone panning and any background noise you may hear. I'm actually in my living room. Um, this is a coupler um, aftermarket that we built essentially using OEM internals. Um, we figured doing it this way would be a little easier for you guys and a little bit cheaper, plus kind of give you a little bit more understanding of what the hell is actually inside of these things. So, um, a couple friends recommended I make a video, Spencer Hoyt and a couple others. Good guys. Um, follow them if you get a chance to. Uh, and Fastest Edge. Uh, those guys are freaking amazing. Um, but essentially, you will take your OEM coupler apart. It's pretty easily done. You can cut along the base here at this line, the segmented line here, um, all the way around and utilize the parts that we provide you in your coupler kit. Now, this coupler is not a fully assembled coupler. We've had to say this like six or seven times right now, even though the listings that we created showed we made a case, a lid, and clutches. So apparently there's still some people out there that are confused to that fact, don't, not realizing that this is literally a kit to replace your OEM non-serviceable coupler with an aftermarket serviceable coupler with aftermarket clutches. Made out of billet. It's much stronger. Um, so following some of these, I want to go over the components. These are pressure plates. Essentially, they're passing friction through each one of these clutches, translating it to the shaft. The outer plates or these friction discs here lock or spline to the outer case assembly itself and the clutches spline to the shaft on the inside. And you see the splines here coincide with the same design uh, inner dimensions as the actual coupler plate themselves. And I'll grab one so you can see it. They are very tightly cut, very precise. In their measurements sorry focus is a pain in the ass but these are still friction plates covered with molly DM ceramic compound so it is rough to the to the touch kind of feels like a <laughs> kind of feels like a transmission clutch kind of um, however the friction discs themselves are smooth now this compound on the outside literally is just a compound designed to help keep it from corroding um, you should expect that if you ever do tear your coupler down um, after use you will see that this is a shiny disc um, and this black coating will essentially come off as the friction surface allows it to spin against the plate so don't be worried it's all right everything's good but you'll notice over OEM these clutches are 65% more surface area than the original. Um, that is good and bad. Um, not necessarily bad. Um, but that is good because it provides you more of a friction surface to transfer power through the OEM coupler. Allowing us to keep the OEM coupler size, shape, and dimensions on the outside external. And allowing it to have unparalleled fitment to OEM uh, differentials. However, that also means it will transfer power much faster. This is where uh, some of you would say the rubber hits the road. It is great that it can transfer power faster. However, the ramp clutch and the, um, uh, the ramp clutch, which is this rubberized Cody clutch here, and the cam have to be able to accept that. Now, in testing, um, these couplers are required to be shimmed specifically for this reason <sighs> some of you would call this fuck around and find out we fuck around and found out the ramp cam has a breaking point it has a limitation um these are cast aluminum um they will take friction essentially they will take a lot of abuse however 
depending on your clamping load and how fast you apply torque through the coupler, you will find your breaking point. See that's uh, kind of grainy. You will find your breaking point. Um, so in our testing, things took a little bit longer to achieve some tests as we are testing with Fastest Edge. Um, continuing to go over some of the components, you have flat washers inside of the coupler. These are a necessity. Do not throw away any of the parts from your original coupler. Please don't. You will be very, very, very upset. Um, this coupler essentially operates based on the electromagnet energizing this ramp pressure plate, lifting the entire ramp assembly up, sandwiching this rubberized coated clutch in between these two ramp pressure plates. Uh, they are really thin, less than a millimeter. Um, so their whole idea is to sandwich this clutch together, which in turn will force this cam to lift off of these ball bearings, off of this ramp assembly, applying downward force to sandwich these clutches together and send power through them. That is how your entire system works. Um, I can go back over this if you guys need, but I'm just doing a general overview. Um, your electromagnet will sit inside here and it spins along the base of your carrier. The inside assembly, you'll see a couple cutouts on the inside. Those cutouts are actually for your washer, which sits inside like so, and your flat washer, or your flat bearing, excuse me. As electromagnetic energy is passed through, it will pass through the lid and it will pull your ramp pressure plate. Everything in between the ramp pressure plate is sandwiched to the bottom of the lid. When that happens, this clutch right here, rubberized coated clutch, is actually responsible for turning the ramp cam and applying pressure to this pressure plate through your ball bearings. That is how your system works. That is how it has always worked. And ultimately, your biggest downfall. Um, when the magnet gets hot, it tends to reduce the amount of power that is able to pass through, reducing its uh, electromagnetic signature, uh, reducing the amount of grip that you are able to put on your clutches. Uh, and with that, you feel a loss of performance on the inside. Ultimately, the clutch is spinning freely, uh, partially engaged, uh, burning off the friction compound or the organic friction compound forcing the oil inside of the coupler to heat up and ultimately discolor or uh, bake essentially the inside of your coupler and causing a catastrophic failure on this bearing inside. Um, that bearing in the very base of this coupler is very important. It is what allows this shaft to spin nice and smooth. Um, it is also what allows you to send power through the pinion shaft to the rear wheels. From there, either a limited slip or locker or something like that should take place to even di distribute power between both rear wheels. But either way, this is, again, a general overview, and I want to keep you guys involved with testing efforts. Um, so far, we've had two failures from uh, Fastest Edge and various shimming um, due to the fact that we did not have enough preload set, so we fixed those. Um, now we are beginning the final test for which we are very confident his coupler will kick ass um, and allow him to see a full amount of the, I'll just say 600 plus horsepower Ford Edge uh, dropping the hammer on the streets to uh, make many a Mustangs his bitch. Uh, but either way, um, this is Spencer Hoyt's coupler. I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this and kick it out to him with the new shimming efforts that we put in. And he is going to test it on his badass Lincoln Continental. I can't wait. I wish I could be there myself. But you guys are a amazing group. Uh, you've been a great inspiration to us all here. 
for some of the parts that we're designing and developing. Uh, and we will continue to innovate specifically for you guys. Uh, we are actually even working on a new ramp clutch assembly that will use two of the rubberized clutches so that you have twice the amount of grip with half the amount of electromagnetic energy passed through. What that will mean is that this coupler will no longer be all wheel drive, it will be on or off. Um, that will be some more testing for you guys who really want to uh, put the, the hammer to the street. Um, however, we're working on a couple more variants of these couplers, um, the Fusion guys will be testing as well. So um, more coming, stay tuned. All right, fellas. Ladies, take it easy.